Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States, accompanied by Commissioner Gary Bettman, Ms. Denise Illich, and Coach Scotty Bowman. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Please be seated, everyone. <clears throat> Commissioner Bettman, <clears throat> Coach Bowman, Denise Illich, and General Manager Holland, uh, to the team captain, Steve Azerman, and uh, all the Red Wings. Congressman Bonnier, Dingle, Nolenberg, Levin, Stupak, Mayor Archer, and other mayors from Michigan who are here with us today. Welcome back to the White House. Yeah. Uh, thank you. you know, this is becoming such a regular thing. From time to time, we have state days at the White House. And, you know, we'll have a Maryland day and bring in people from all over Maryland and let them meet members of the cabinet and talk about issues affecting the state. Uh, this is becoming so regular, we should just have Michigan day at the White House when the Red Wings come. <laughs> I, uh, Vince Lombardi, uh, who was a pretty good coach himself, once said that excellence is not a sometime thing. I think it's clear that with your four-game sweep for a second straight Stanley Cup, that's what the Red Wings are living by. Uh, I've always found the history of the Stanley Cup particularly interesting. It's the oldest trophy competition by professional athletes in North America, the only trophy which bears the names of individual players and coaches. And what I admire most is the tradition of the whole team sharing the cup, each player getting to take it home to friends and family. I think it's a tradition that other sports ought to follow because it recognizes that every person on the team makes a unique and enduring contribution. The Red Wings overcame the Capitals, as I said, our hometown team, but we still are impressed with what you did. <laughs> In four decisive games with grit, determination, and teamwork. The series will be remembered as a defensive triumph that spotlighted your goalie, Chris Osgood, who allowed seven whole goals. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> and of course, it will be remembered for the performance of your team captain. Steve, your teammates have said you have the heart of a champion, and when the chips are down, you always made the plays. That's something that every leader needs to do, and you have certainly done it. We all know, too, that great hockey teams have to have great coaches. Perhaps the Detroit Red Wings have the greatest coach in the history of hockey. This victory. With his eighth championship as a head coach, Scotty Bowman became the winningest coach in NHL history, maybe an athletic dynasty all to himself. But teams win, whole teams, in the arena and on the sidelines. And we're glad to see the whole team here, including Vladimir, Sergey. Thank you all for coming. We're glad to hear you here. Thank you. Last year when you were here, and this year again when you were going through the line, I sensed a real, genuine spirit of not only championship, but camaraderie. A sense of family, of caring for one another and supporting one another. In the end, that's even more important than winning the game. So congratulations. I'm delighted to have you here, 
and I'd like to have Commissioner Gary Bettman come up and say a few words. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. On behalf of the National Hockey League, I wanted to thank you for hosting, again, the Detroit Red Wings, now the 1998 as well as the 1997 Stanley Cup champions. This has been a great week for hockey. Uh, Sunday, we had our All-Star Game in Tampa, which was terrific. Tuesday, we learned in St. Louis that the Pope is a hockey fan as well. <laughs> and today, we're in the White House with the number one team, in the number one sport, with the number one trophy, in the number one house, with our number one fan. So thank you. <laughs> Merely seven months ago, in this city, we were all thrilled as the Red Wings accomplished one of the toughest feats in sports, repeating as championships. You know, Mr. President, how difficult it is to win the first one, and you know as well how challenging it is to repeat a second time. That night, last June, as the Red Wings raised the Stanley Cup at MCI Center in Washington, and around the world, we were all overwhelmed with the emotion of the moment when Captain Steve Eiserman handed the cup to his stricken teammate, Vladdy Konstantinov. Vladdy is here with us today, as you said, Mr. President, and we hail his continued progress. Retaining the title requires hard work and dedication. This team epitomizes those attributes, and nobody epitomizes them more than the captain of this team, Steve Eiserman. And also with us today is Sergei Manatsikhanov, who was terribly injured with Vladdy in June of 97 and was not well enough to be with us here last year but we are delighted that you're here this year to join in this ceremony. We believe that winning the Stanley Cup is the hardest accomplishment in sports. For two months across the continent, teams compete for this trophy. To win it once is special, to win it twice is remarkable, and I know the Red Wings will be working hard over the next few months to win it a third time and put a strain on my supply of adjectives. <laughs> I'd like to congratulate General Manager Ken Holland and his entire staff uh, for the work they've done in building and maintaining this proud team. And we also have to again mention Coach Scott Bowman, who is a national treasure both in his native Canada and in the United States. He's won nine Stanley Cups, eight as a coach, and that is a remarkable feat. And last summer, you gave us a scare as well, and we're delighted that you're healthy and back coaching as good as new and as good as ever. Thank you. Now I'm pleased to introduce Denise Illich, who's representing her parents, Michael and Marion Illich. They're the team owners, and she's also representing the entire Red Wings organization. The Illich's commitment to hockey in the city of Detroit has helped lead to a rebirth of that city, which we call Hockey Town. Mr. President, thank you again for honoring this great team and our great game. We're delighted to be here. Denise? Thank you. Thank you, Gary. President Clinton, we are absolutely thrilled to be invited back to the White House to celebrate our second Stanley Cup championship. On behalf of my parents, Michael and Marion Illich, uh, my siblings, and all of the fans of Hockey Town, thank you so much for this gracious offer. I have to admit that this is a habit that's it's getting pretty tough to break. Um, I hope and pray that we'll be invi invited back next year. So thank you, and I'd now like to introduce our esteemed hockey coach, Scotty Bowman. Thank you. Thank you, Denise. Mr. President and guests, uh, this is a chore. Generally, when a coach has to come and speak before some people, it, you don't look forward to. But it's such a thrill to come back to the White House because of the fact that uh, it was so hard to get here 40-something years uh, the first time. And uh, winning a second time, uh, we have a very close group of players. And uh, the thrill of coming here today 
really, I think what it was all about is when we got on our plane at, uh, in Detroit a little after 2 o'clock to have both Laddie and Sergey back with the, the team for just another occasion because we do get to see them a little bit but not to spend the time that we have been able to spend today and to see how everybody tries to help them and they try to really talk with them and, and, and just get back to old times and this is what, this is what it's all about and uh, I think I'm, uh, when, I, when I represent the team to say that we are a team uh, we're so proud that the White House was able to give us this invitation and I get the good uh, pleasure of, of getting another Stanley Cup to uh, President Clinton. <laughs> and, uh, also to uh, introduce our uh, captain who's had a great rest and we're looking forward to Steve uh, coming back for a, a big push in the uh, second half because uh, we've been reminded quite a bit in the first half that uh, it's not going to be as easy this year. but. We're now facing up to the challenge, so if Steve would come up. First of all, thanks all, uh, for everyone for uh, coming out and uh, uh, supporting us here again tonight. And, and I'm sure a lot of you were here uh, last, uh, early last summer when, uh, when we were able to win the Stanley Cup here in Washington. And, we were shocked at the, the number of uh, Red Wing fans who were in the building at the time. It was almost like a home game. We, we appreciate your support. And for, uh, for the President, we, we thank him again for the invitation back to the White House. Uh, our trip here last year was a fantastic experience. Uh, I think we all left here um, uh, somewhat quite in awe. Um, it was an extremely exciting day. Uh, we're thrilled to get the opportunity to come back, and we appreciate that very much. Uh, I think you made the, I know you made the hockey where you created quite a buzz or a stir in the hockey world when you attended the, the Buffalo-Washington game in the semifinals last year and it, it certainly got a lot of attention around the hockey world and unfortunately I think for, for um, you were out of the country during the finals but uh, I'm sure you were wherever you were, you were in your hotel room with your Red Wing jersey on, <laughs> cheering us on, I'm sure you were. Uh, uh, last, last year, uh, we were uh, able to present, uh, present the president with a, a Red Wings home jersey, and this year we brought along the road jersey, so when, uh, when the president and the first lady settle down to watch the Red Wings on TV, they can both throw on their jerseys. <laughs> Cheer us on. You gave me the last one. I started wearing it around the house, and Hillary pointed out I wasn't as broad-shouldered as she thought I was. <laughs> one wag in my office today said, uh, you know, they'll probably give you a jersey, but I wish they'd give you one of those sticks. You could really put it to good use around here. <laughs> Let me just say in closing, uh, to the coach, to Steve, to all the team, uh, it is an honor to have you here. It's wonderful to have all your friends from Michigan and all your fans who live in Washington now but have their hearts in Michigan. Uh, this house is truly the people's house. Every president is a temporary tenant. And uh, I think, to me, the greatest joy of living here is seeing other people come in and share in the history. Every president since John Adams has lived in this house. George Washington conceived it, really, but never got a chance to live here. But the whole history of our country is embodied within these walls. This house has been burned down. In the 1814, uh, the British troops uh, came in here. We were having a banquet. and. Uh, Everybody had to run, and Dolly Madison, whose husband, James Madison, was the last active commander-in-chief of the armed forces, was out with our army, and she cut that magnificent picture of George Washington down, which was purchased in 1797 for $500. It has no price today. The British came in and ate our food, <laughs> and then burned the house down. <laughs> but the walls hung on, and it's been rebuilt uh, 
that time and one other time since. After all these years, whenever I land the helicopter on the back lawn and come in this house, I still get a thrill because everything that our country has tried to be is embodied in this house. So for your excellence, for your spirit of teamwork, we're honored to have you here with all your family and friends. And I only hope that it is as enjoyable to you as it is to me every day. Welcome and God bless you.